Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem in one dimension. The problem is like this. The velocity of a particle moving in a positive x direction is being given as v equal to k root s. Now I want to calculate where k is a constant. How does velocity and the time are related with each other? In this given problem, velocity and displacement relation is there, but I want a relation between velocity and the time. So I shall try writing this in terms of the time, basing on the basic definition of velocity. Velocity, you know, is defined as rate of change of displacement equal to k root s. So getting the s this side, ds by s equal to k dt. Let us differentiate this equation actually ds by root s because the given data is nothing but equal to root s. By differentiating this once with respect to the time by sorry not by differentiating because one some dt term is there I want the total time then I shall go for an integration kind of a concept. Let us integrate this integral of ds by root s equal to integral of k dt integral of root s in the numerator is s power minus half ds k integral of dt you know there is a formula in integration integral of x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 so s power minus half is there so its integration is s power minus half plus 1 by minus half plus 1 equal to k integral of differentiation of t is nothing but equal to t. So let us uh, simplify this relation further. Let us see how it goes further. We can simplify as s power of minus half plus 1 is s power plus half minus half plus 1 is again plus half equal to kt so that's nothing but equal to 2 root s equal to kt or root s is equal to kt by 2 or s is equal to 1 by 4 k square t square so if you look at the equation that how the given equation is transformed earlier the given equation s is in terms of velocity now i have written that s in terms of time that's where we are making a difference because i want relation between velocity and the time i shall write the given equation in terms of time as i got only displacement i will differentiate this once with respect to time differentiate the above once with respect to time will give us gives ds by dt is equal to d by dt of 1 by 4 k square t square let us write further what happens further is yeah ds by dt is nothing but equal to velocity 1 by 4 is constant differentiation remains same k square is constant i can call it outside the equation differentiation of t square is nothing but equal to 2t so i got a relation v as 2 k square and t by 4 that's nothing but equal to k square and t by 2 but it is given in the problem k is constant as k is constant i can say k square by 2 is also constant so velocity is directly proportional to time itself so if you draw a graph between the velocity and the time taking the time on x-axis velocity on y-axis it's going to be a straight line of course its initial velocity if it is zero then it starts from the origin otherwise it won't start from the origin 
but they are directly proportional to each other thank you for watching keep coming here for this space for more and more video lessons we can find lots of further uh, content on all basics at venkatsakademy.com thank you